we were trying to find a way to do this rather uh, difficult scene of, you know, bursting into this poor writer's house, uh, beating him up and raping his wife. Yes! <laughs> Sometimes I play these characters. I, as my mother said, why don't you play a nice person? <laughs> because, Mom, they never asked me. <laughs> anyway, um, we would trying to think of ways to do it, and Kubrick changed the furniture, we sat there for five days. Only somebody like Stanley Kubrick, of course, could do that, otherwise you just have to do it in the day, and that's it. And, um, and on the fifth day, he came over to me and he said, can you dance? That's all he said. And immediately he said that, I left up, went into that scene, and lived the whole thing. He put me in his car, drove back to his house, he bought the rights to sing in the rain, I think it was $10,000. And we came back and then it took another week to shoot. <laughs> That's the way it is. A postscript to that, a year later I come to Hollywood to the studio and um, my mind at Warner Brothers said, would you like to come to this party? It's going to be crammed with movie stars in the flats of Beverly Hills. I went, oh yeah, I'd love to meet some movie stars. So we go there and he says, oh, but you won't believe it, but Gene Kelly's here. <laughs> great, great, I'd love to meet him. So he had his back to me, the guy tapped him on the shoulder, and as he turned, he said, I'd like Gene, I'd like you to meet Malcolm McDowell, and he turned. <laughs> turned back and walked away. No. Cut me dead. Aww. Well, can you blame the poor man? <laughs> and the mind was very embarrassed. I said, please don't be. Don't be. Are you kidding? I took his wonderful moment and completely fucked with it. <laughs> And believe you me, it was a magical moment. Gene Kelly was magical. What a great artist he was. Yeah, yeah, really. And honestly, it was only because in my mind, euphoria, as Hollywood has given us as propaganda, what was it? euphoria? It was Gene Kelly swinging around that lamppost and doing this down the street, splashing in the gutter. And uh, so that's why came out of my mouth. It wasn't even that I could thought about it. It was just instinctive. And um, anyway, 40 years later, I'm telling this story at the Academy, and afterwards this lady came up and said, I'm Jean's uh, widow. Uh, and um, Jean wasn't upset with you, Mark. I said, really? Well, who was he upset with? She said, he was really upset with Stanley Kubrick because he hadn't been paid. I went, my God, those are quite a gang of us that haven't been paid. I didn't hear that. <laughs> Do you want me to sing? Yes. Singing in the red. Yes. You are insane. <laughs> Yeah.